Hey guys, welcome to Ever Grable Studios. I'm Eddie Grable. The VA finally, after being graduated from Sam Buford for an entire month, finally sent all my tools and stuff to me. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video this episode to show you guys what they sent me. Uh, Oh, and the only reason I got this stuff is because my VA rep went on vacation and while he was gone, the person who took over for him actually was able to help me out. So, yeah. Big thanks to the, the uh, substitute VA rep. It's like Christmas. What we got here? A little four inch square. Nice. Nice. All right. This is only a three inch square. A little three inch square, all right. Sweet. Oh, this big ass box for this little box. It just started raining. So it's the 4th of July today. A little bit of rain. Back to the unboxing. All right, next, Woodcraft. What did they give me from Woodcraft, I wonder? Bow. Number five plane, some bubble wrap for the kitties. Wood River, number five plane. Easy, easy. There it is. This thing's still in the packaging. Pretty. All right, I'll set that there. Mini bubble wrap. Box. Plastic. All right. Big box. It's kind of light from Lee Valley. Files and rasps. Cabinet rasps, grain 10. Da -da 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 -da. Rat tail rasps, 10, 10 inch grain 9. Da -da 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 -da. And Got a 12 inch square. Yeah, very nice. Boom. We'll put these down here. All right. Let's 
see what's in here. Some type of triangle, it looks like. That's a sharp corner on this thing. Let's just rip it through the packaging. 16 inch professional acrylic triangle, clear, 30 degree, 60 degree, 1 eighth thick. How'd they know? I always wanted one of these. All right. Next. This one's loaded with goodies. Ooh, caliper. All right. Calipers. Anytime Tools presents. Oh, there's a cancer and reproductive harm warning sticker on there. Thanks for getting me the cancerous calipers. All right. So, it's your standard caliper here. Spinning, spinning. This has a peel off on it as well. All right. Boom. Next. They got me some uh, 0.5 millimeter fine lead pencils, mechanical pencils. Pigment, four pigment liner, face liner for writing, sketching, and drawing. Two free gratis. All right, pens. A Stanley 16 foot measuring tape. Thanks for that. I think I'll stick to the one I had though. I bought a really nice one that has like all the little measurements and stuff. Next. Oh yeah. All right. Sliding bevel. Premium mechanical pencil. It's a nice one, and it comes with an eraser and some extra lead. Alright, and last box. It's a heavy one. Any guesses as to what's inside this? It's from Lee Nielsen. I'm guessing some planes, if I had to guess. I'm asking you guys to guess. 
No cheating. Don't fast forward. Oh. It came wrapped in newspaper. Oh, it's all kinds of cool stuff. All right. There's a bronze low angle block plane. Very nice, very nice. It's got some weight to it. All right. Blendrigs Tool Works. Tight mark. Blendrig.com. All right, let's see. All right. Very nice. This one's encased in bubble wrap. Lee oh. Nielsen Doodle Shop, 271 de depth stop. Japanese quality water stone. Zang. This is a little Lee Nielsen ruler thing. Gauge. Use sliding clip as depth gauge. Metric equivalents on the back. Very nice. Tools with bronze and brass alloys can expose you to lead, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Woodworking is a dangerous hobby. Just this little fella here. Uh, stone, Japanese writing on there, super cool. Okay, some more paper. We're not done yet, folks. Hold on. Man, what'd they get me here? This is a shoulder plane. from Lee Nielsen. It's a number 42. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, a little oily. Almost slipped right out of my hand. Which one should I pick next? Now there's four of them this size. Let's see what they are. Oh, chisels! <laughs> Some Lee Nielsen. This is a bevel edge chisel. Boom. Some nice horn bean handles. Getting situated. I had to change out my GoPro battery. It died. Alright, so we 
got Ali Nelson quarter inch chisel for mortising. Boom. We got Flat spoke shave. And a curved spoke shave. And another chisel. It's a little bit smaller than the big one. And a little bit bigger than the small one. Alright, moving on. What we got here? Tapered dove's tail saw. I was always borrowing dovetail saws while in school. I really could have used this. Wow, that's a pretty handle I got there. This Lee Nielsen 15 PPI rip. 0 0.015. Look at this handle. Very nice, very nice. I'm super excited about this saw. Back saws. Boom. The last thing it looks like we have in here, it's a tapered carcass saw. Let's go. Boom. The big daddy. Crosscut, Lee Nielsen, USA. What a pretty handle. That's quality right there. Quality woodworking saw from Lee Nielsen. And that's all that the uh, VA sent. Dina, if you're watching this and they shorted me on something, let me know. Because they probably did. You know how the government is. Learn by doing at the Connecticut Valley School of Woodworking. They sent out a flyer for uh, Connecticut Valley School of Woodworking. Bob Van Dyke, founder and director. I mean, I couldn't recommend this school over Sam Buford, though. Sam Buford, if you want to learn woodworking, Let's see, everything I see on here I could make because I learned how to do all this at Sam Buford. Nothing against uh, Connecticut Valley School of Woodworking. I'm sure it's a fine institute. I would love to go there after attending this, but you know, it's all the way in Connecticut. It's in Manchester, Connecticut. So if you want to check that out, it's uh, schoolofwoodworking.com. And that's it for this week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. The VA finally sent me my tools after graduating last month. Cool. I don't know what else to say really, but keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your likes, subscribes, your shares. Um, I'm continuing to put out the videos every week. Uh, it's, it's a slow process. You know, I have a lot to show from 
to school and I'll continue to put out these videos until I'm done with the footage from Sam Buford with Ricking Institute and then at that point I'm going to switch gears a little bit and who knows where I'll be at that point in my life but I have a few things lined up and I mean I wouldn't mind filming an episode or two of where I'm working at now. I started work a couple weeks ago at a cabinet shop named Frederick's Inc. and it's not fine woodworking like I learned wood design at Sam Buford but it's a lamination and it's a different technique and there's some really cool machines and it's a really interesting process on how it's all done. They put hundreds and hundreds of cabinets together every week and I still have to talk to uh, my boss about if he'll allow me to film there or not, you know. But hopefully they say okay. I mean, it's free advertisement for them, and I can show you guys what's going on there. But that'll be in the future, if at all. All right. So thanks again for watching, and God bless. Will fall.